Hi, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on setting up a uh, Microsoft MSX with uh, RetroArch on Android and then I'm going to show you uh, my settings for Hyperspin also. So, I'm just going to go quickly go through it. I'm using an Android NVIDIA Shield TV box, but any Android system should be pretty much the same. 6.0 Marshmallow. So, I'm just going to go RetroArch main menu on down to online updater core updater download the msx fmsx core just show you now this core needs um bios files the bios files should be in a folder i'll just show you which folder it should be in see so the root menu your android device android Data, com.retroarch, and then system. I've created this system folder. If you follow my uh, previous retroarch videos, you'll see why. And then it's my BIOS files have been here. It's five of them in total. One, two, three, four, five. And so you know that um, where. VetroArch knows nowhere to look for my BIOS files. I'll just show you how to set that up in VetroArch. It's going to go settings, directory, and there we go. Go to again, so SD card, Android, data. com.retroarch and system and then just click use this directory now I'm just going to test check it double, double check it works so I'm going to click load content select file and set core I'm just going to go to my ROMs and And I'm just going to select the MSX core now, and it should, in theory, start up. There we go. It's that easy. It's already pre-configured on this NVIDIA Shield. The uh, the buttons are already like set up, so it should just be. I've not messed about with the settings whatsoever for the controller. Literally, this is how it how it is. I've and I spent about ten minutes setting up the hyperspin system. So it's back out of here now. I have closed content. Quick bit right. To show you one more thing with RetroArch. If you're unsure about any of these cores needing BIOS files or anything like that, if you go to, I'm just going to load the MXX core again. So now you can see it's loaded at the bottom. It says FMSX 3.9. Then all you have to do is go down to information, core information, and it'll tell you what ROM, ROM extensions it supports. So this uh, supports ROM, MX1 and MX2, this core. Any other extension on the end of your game ROMs, it will not load. So if your files are zipped or seven zipped, they will not load unless they're unpacked. And any other kind of uh, MX1, M MSX1 ROM or 2 is not going to play unless it's in this format. And they, underneath it tells you which BIOS files that you need. Mine say present, yours will probably say uh, not present. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. So that's your lot for RetroArch. Show you for hyperspinners now. So device.
show you my settings files. Right, here's my setting file now. Um, the, the lines that you won't be worried about are the extension line, which is com.retroarch forward slash com.retroarch.browser.retroactivity.retroactivity future. Retroactivity future has got a capital R, A, and F. My ROM extensions are ROM MX1 and MX2 because that's the only ROM extensions this call will support. Um, my parameters are calls forward slash fmsx underscore libretro underscore android dot so so just back out of here now let's go back to hyperspin I'm just click on the game like I literally have spent about 10 minutes setting this up before I didn't have this core I'm not familiar with it and it's not a system I had as a child so and there you go, it's up and running straight away. Really easy. Nothing to it. Let's try and get it to work. There we go. Again, all the buttons pre configured. There you go. I'll leave him. Um, the extension and the parameters in the description at the bottom of the page and the BIOS names as well also at the bottom of the page. Thanks for watching.